Yo, welcome to another video. I am your Tactical Power Pro. If it's your first time checking my channel, welcome. I am an Air Force veteran, a former electrical power production technician, which is a fancy way of calling a general mechanic in the Air Force. So please go ahead and overcrank that like button and subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. So let's waste no more time. And let's go straight to today's video. Here we have the Pramac GSW-10. This is a diesel unit. The client states that the generator has a brand new battery, but it still won't start. So the first thing I'll do is try to start the generator and see what happens. Okay, so the controller is sending the signal to the cranking relay to engage the starter, but nothing is happening. So the controller keeps sending the signal for the generator to start, but nothing is happening. What do you guys think is going on? This controller is set up to throw on an alarm after its forward attempt of starting the generator. So it should throw an alarm fault pretty soon. And there it is, a shutdown start fail alarm. After analyzing what the generator just did, now we know where to start troubleshooting. So let's waste no time and go straight to the cranking relay. Quick note, this video is to show you my thought process of how I found that the relay was bad. I'm not showing you how to test the relay, just showing you how it works. Prior to me recording, I have my multimeter and test for voltage, continuity, resistance, data uh, relay test to make sure the relay was bad. But I'm not showing you that in this video. Uh, so I just want you to make sure that you need your multimeter to properly test the relay, make sure it's bad. Now that we got that out of the way, let's focus on why is the generator not starting? Let's talk about the cranking relay. What is a relay? A relay is an electrically operated switch. And what does the cranking relay controls? You guessed it, the cranking circuit. When using the multimeter, I tested for battery voltage at pin 30 and 86. So if everything is working properly, once the controller sends the signal to pin 85 to complete its ground, this will complete the circuit, energizing the coil, making the relay close to contact from pin 30 to 87, letting voltage go through the relay, come out pin 87, and reach your starter solenoid, which will engage your starter, making the generator start and run. So what is happening? Why is not the generator starting? Why is not the starter engaging? The generator controller is sending that ground signal to the relay to energize the coil but the relay is not changing the contact position. It's not letting battery voltage go through the relay and reach the starter solenoid. So we in fact have a bad relay. So we replace the relay with a new one and let's see what happens when we try to start the generator. started and it's run. I hope this video is helpful. Let me know down in the comment what other issues or what problems your generator is having at this moment which I can help you with. That's it yo. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to over crank that like button and subscribe to my channel. And always remember that knowledge is current times voltage. <laughs>